Beyond Neptune, the eighth planet of the solar system, and far into the outer edges of our space lies a cold, donut-shaped region of space known as the Kuiper Belt. This region of space consists of some strange and mysterious objects orbiting around. Scientists estimate that the total mass of all the objects in the Kuiper Belt currently is about 10% of Earth's mass. So, what are these KBOs, and how significant are they? What is hiding in the Kuiper Belt? Watch the video to the end to find out. The Kuiper Belt is a vast, cold, dark, and mysterious donut-shaped region of space. According to NASA, the Kuiper Belt's inner edge begins at Neptune's orbit, at a distance of around 2.8 billion miles or 30 astronomical units from the Sun. Its main concentration of icy bodies ends at around 4.6 billion miles or 50 astronomical units from the Sun. The Kuiper Belt has a disordered region called the Scattered Disk, which continues out to around 1,000 astronomical units away from the solar system's central star. All these numbers depict the Kuiper Belt as one of the solar system's largest structures. The Kuiper Belt is similar to the main asteroid belt, although far larger, up to 20 times its width and 20 to 100 times its mass. Just like the main asteroid belt, which is shaped by the orbit of the giant planet Jupiter, the Kuiper Belt is shaped by the orbit of the planet Neptune. NASA states that the objects of the Kuiper Belt are known as the leftover materials from the solar system's formation about for point. Six billion years ago. The objects, although vast, are so small that they could not come together to form a planet. However, the gravitational pull of Neptune's orbit prevented them from coalescing into a large planet, hence carving out the vast space of the Kuiper Belt. The constituents of the Kuiper Belt include ice rocks, comets, and dwarf planets. Pluto, which was formerly known as a planet and a part of the solar system, was demoted to a dwarf planet after being discovered to share its orbit with other dwarf planets and constituents of the Kuiper Belt. Other dwarf planets discovered aside from Pluto are Eris, Makemake, Hormia, and others. These dwarf planets, together with comets, rocks, and ice, make up the Kuiper Belt objects or KBOs. A large number of KBOs have moons, significantly smaller bodies that orbit around them or are binary objects. Binaries or binary objects are pairs of objects that are relatively similar in mass or size, orbiting around a shared center of mass. They are called binaries because it's difficult to distinguish which is the main object and which is the moon. The genesis of the Kuiper Belt concept started in 1943 when Irish astronomer Kenneth Edgeworth published a paper arguing that solar system bodies and their distribution were not bounded by Pluto's orbit. In 1951, Dutch astronomer Gerard Kuiper proposed the existence of a disc-shaped region of icy objects beyond Neptune from which comets originate. Kuiper's case was much stronger, and his ideas were better known than those of Edgeworth, leading to astronomers attributing the discovery to him and naming the space after him. However, the belt is also referred to as the Edgeworth-Kuiper belt in reference to Edgeworth and Kuiper's contribution to its concept. Pluto the first Kuiper Belt object was found by Clyde Tombaugh at the Lowell Observatory in February 1930. This shows that the Kuiper Belt had been long discovered before its concept came into existence through the discovery of Pluto. The existence of the Kuiper Belt had to wait for another four decades before it was confirmed. According to the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, University of Hawaii researchers Jane Law and David Jewett discovered a small body orbiting the Sun beyond Neptune in 1992. This small body, the first classical trans-Neptunian object, TNO, was eventually designated 1992 QB1, triggering the discovery of thousands more Kuiper Belt objects. According to NASA, astronomers have discovered over 2,000 KBOs since the discovery of 1992 QB1. The size of the Kuiper Belt objects and how far away they are is the reason it took so long to discover. To date, some researchers prefer to call it the Trans-Neptunian region. With its recent discovery, only two spacecraft have been sent out there for the Kuiper Belt's exploration. NASA's Pioneer 10 spacecraft made the first visit in 1983 when it crossed into the belt but didn't visit any of its worlds. Then, in 2015, the New Horizons spacecraft conducted an investigation of Pluto and its companion Charon after a decade-long journey from Earth. The spacecraft visited other Kuiper Belt objects, including the icy space snowman Arakoth, on the 1st of January, 2019.
the New Horizon spacecraft sent data about the ancient Kuiper Belt object Arakov, providing humankind's first close-up look at one of the icy remnants of the solar system's formation. The Kuiper Belt is home to millions of rocky and icy objects referred to as either Kuiper Belt objects or trans-Neptunian objects. The frigid condition of these objects is due to their vast distance from the Sun NASA says. There may be trillions of icy objects in the Kuiper Belt, with hundreds of thousands of these objects having diameters larger than 62 miles. Only Pluto and one other KBO, Arakov, have ever had close-up pictures taken by a space probe. Pluto was visited by the New Horizons probe in 2015 and Arakov in 2019. Pluto is very round, made of water ice mountains and nitrogen ice glacier, and has five moons. Arakov is only 18 miles across, very red, and shaped like a snowman. All other KBOs have only been studied using telescopes, and even the best telescopes on Earth and in orbit still see them as dots. So, we don't know as much about their shapes and colors as Pluto and Arakov. There are at least five known dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt, Eris, Hormia, Makemake, Quaor, and Pluto. Many of these dwarf planets have their moons and even their faint ring systems. Scientists recently spotted a ring around Quaor, which also has its moon way what discovered by the New Horizon science team in 2000 and for using the Hubble Space Telescope. Arakoth is double-lobed and partially flattened. The head and body of this 22-mile long, 12-mile wide, and 6-mile thick snowman are composed of two separate bodies that have merged into one, a so-called contact binary. Unlike its snowman namesake, however, the object, which went by the name Ultima Thule before its official naming in 2019, is extremely red, according to the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. Kuiper belt bodies are classified as follows. Cold refers not to temperature, but to circular, uninclined orbits. These objects are located in a band 6 astronomical units wide between 42 and 48 astronomical units from the Sun. These KBOs tend to be small, with none larger than 500 miles across or wide. They are also redder in color than the other KBOs. Classical refers to the fact that these objects are on the type of orbit Kuiper spoke about. These are likely to be comprised of the original material that comprised the Kuiper belt, unperturbed by the orbit of planets. Hot refers to the fact that these KBOs have non-circular and inclined orbits. This means these objects, while usually located at similar distances from the Sun as cold classical KBOs, can travel much further from the Sun during their orbit. Their sizes and colors vary, grayer than cold classics, and they tend to be larger. They are found in a band around 12 astronomical units thick. These KBOs are locked into a resonant dance with Neptune. The 3 colon 2 resonance make two orbits of the Sun for every three orbits of the ice giant. The 2 colon 1 resonance, sometimes called Little Pluto because the dwarf planet is a member of this group, makes one orbit for every two orbits of Neptune. Scattered KBOs possess unstable orbits, possibly because they have passed too close to Neptune, and the ice giant's gravity has knocked them off course. These chaotic orbits can carry these bodies as far as hundreds of astronomical units away from the Sun at their most distant, and closer than Neptune to the star at their closest. Very new group. There are only a few members in this category. These objects may eventually be revealed to not be part of the Kuiper belt at all as they can travel as far as 1,000 astronomical units from the Sun. One of the most important aspects of the Kuiper belt is the look it offers into the formation of our solar system. By studying the Kuiper belt, scientists may be able to better understand how planets and planetesimals, the building blocks of the planets, were formed. The New Horizon spacecraft sent data about the ancient Kuiper Belt object Arakov. Scientists said, just as fossils reveal the formation of life on Earth, objects such as Arakov show how planets formed in space. The Kuiper Belt is a rich source of learning more about objects in our solar system. So far, over 2,000 KBOs have been catalogued, and researchers believe these are only a tiny fraction of the total number of objects scientists think are out there. Astronomers estimate there are hundreds of thousands of objects in the region that are larger than 60 miles, or 100 kilometers wide or larger. By carefully measuring the orbits and information about the composition, 
we can learn where everything in the solar system formed and how it may have been reorganized. Studying the Kuiper belt has taught us that Neptune formed much closer to the Sun than where it is today, and it migrated outward. Computer simulations have shown us that the KBOs we see today were shoved onto those orbits as Neptune moved. The Kuiper belt is a region we're still just beginning to explore, and our understanding is still evolving. The best information has come from recent missions, so there is much to discover and learn. Hey Spacers, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more content, click on the subscribe button. Also, turn on your notifications button to stay up to date with our videos. Thank you for spacing out with us, and see you in the next video.